This video will show you how to weave the sides of your diagonally woven baskets. The first thing that you have to do is you have to cut your strips at an angle on each end. To do this, you'll place your strips. Now, of course, your strips are going to be much longer than this. You'll place your strips uh, underneath a ruler, and I use a 6 by 12 inch ruler with a 45 degree angle. Place your strips under the ruler. Place the edge of one of your strips on the 45 degree angle, and then cut on either side. Slide the ruler over and cut, slide the ruler over and cut, and so forth until you have all the strips that you need. Then you are going to sew across the bottoms of the strips. To do that, you're going to place your strips, one on top of the other, in opposing directions. So in the pattern, I refer to the right-facing strips and the left-facing strips. Now to sew them, I suggest that you strip piece them. That means you're going to sew one right after the other so the piece is, uh, so the piece is sewn in one continuous seam. So to do that, I'm going to just grab these. What you'll do is you're going to be sewing with an eighth of an inch seam. And that's so that when you bind them, this stitching line won't show. So place your needle in the down position, sew across the bottom, and sew about halfway or a quarter of a way into that strip right here, this set. Then go ahead and place the next set in by placing the bottom layer so that it lines up with the previous strip and place the top layer so that it lines up again with the previous strip. Continue to sew, and this will be a little bit tricky, so if you have a pair of tweezers, sometimes that helps a little bit. So just continue to sew with an eighth of an inch seam, place the next strip, Again, lining it up with the prior strip. Place the other strips on top and continue to sew with an eighth of an inch seam. When you've sewn all your strips together, you're going to have a piece that looks like this right here. Now I'm going to move this out of the way and pull this down. Once you have sewn this bottom, you then will weave in your strips. Weave the left facing strips in the left direction, right facing strips in the right direction. Now you'll want to pull the left facing strip out at the very bottom and make sure it goes over the very bottom of the right facing strip so that it forms these little triangles at the bottom. Weave all of these in but what you want to do is you want to match the top of either the 10th or the 11th left facing strip to the first right facing strip. In this sample, I've matched the top of the 10th uh, left facing strip with the first right facing strip. This creates a looser weave, you can actually see some of the spots in between the strips. If you want to have a tighter weave, you need to match the top of the first right facing strip with the 11th left facing strip. That will create a tighter weave. Now these two baskets up here are done with a tighter weave. And you can see in some cases where the strips are a little wrinkled. 
if you want them to lie flatter, you want to match the tenth left facing strip. It's up to you. Either one will work. So weave these all in, and you'll only be able to go so far while it's still flat. You want to make sure that your bottom is lying flat. So if you have a pucker at all, uh, use a seam ripper, clip a few stitches down here, have them lie flat, and then re-stitch that bottom seam so it's one continuous seam. Again, like I said, you can only go so far while it's flat. Uh, it, this basket is actually woven in a circular manner, so there is no side seam. When you've gone as far as you can go while it's flat, then you're going to lift up the two sides, like this, wrap them around, and clip that together, like that. I'm going to turn this around. Once you've done this, you're simply going to finish weaving in these strips on the back side. Now, if it's tightly woven, uh, this, may, this shape may not be nice and even like it is here. So you may have to pull your strips, uh, as in any weaving project. You snug them down, pull them around and everything to get it nice and even. So finish weaving in all those strips. Now the top is still all clipped. What you will do is you will stay stitch across the top, just like you did across the bottom. Then you will bind the bottom and bind the top. So here you'll see I've bound the top and I've bound the bottom. This is the bottom binding right here. Make the bottom according to the pattern instructions and then you're going to hand sew with little whip stitches the side to the bottom of the basket. Just stitch all the way around. And that's it. I hope you enjoy.